Well, good afternoon and welcome. This is Mike Harris broadcasting on www.veteranstoday.com. Also broadcasting on www.freedomslips.com, Studio B Revolution Radio. Today is Thursday, February 18th, 2015. And my guest for the first portion of the show is Mayron Kesh. Mr. Kesh, welcome to the show, sir. How are you? Not too bad. Thank you very much. Well, good. And, uh, you know, uh, it's it's been a while since we've had you on. Uh, you're, you're due for an appearance. We're glad to have you here. But uh, my understanding is that you have a conference coming up. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about it, the date, the location, and what people would have to do if they wanted to attend? Uh, as you know, we are part of the space technology, and we've been teaching, and a lot of people have been working around making the things. And we have uh, organized what we call technology in exchange for peace, and on the other hand, we had the uh, Energy for Peace with Ambassadors in November, of, uh, October of last year. And now we're calling for, instead of waiting for the governments to do to come to peace, the governments are too busy making wars. So we people, we start making decisions ourselves that we want the peace, but we try to implement it through technology. So we have called for, because our technology is shared by literally everyone in every continent, for the conference, what we call one planet, one nation, one race conference. And in this conference, we try to show all the technologies have developed, be it on the space, energy, medical, agriculture, and the rest, to be followed to what we call the accepting or electing what we call the Universal Council that can take us independent of the governments into the level of us ruling ourselves for a space where we carry our ethos of peace. And this conference has been organized for 21st and 22nd of April of this year. You don't need to be a member of the Keshe Foundation anywhere to attend. You can come in and you can join the conference and you never know you might be elected or put yourself for elect to be elected as a member of the council okay and what is the location where, where is this located at we are the venue is will be at uh, atlantis hotel in palm in dubai one of the most beautiful hotels in the world Okay, so it'll be at the uh, at the Atlanta Hotel in Dubai. Okay, very very good. Uh, do you have you planned an agenda yet for for the meeting? Uh, do you the, what, uh, the agenda is that in the day during the day, the first day on twenty first, we will let people to know each other. If you want to, who you are dealing with, what is going to be, and how you want to participate, and be part of the world peace and the new cycle of the change through technology and then in the afternoon at about five o'clock we start the session uh, and we'll go till about eight o'clock nine o'clock and we discuss what is to be done and what is on the panel on the panel and then on the second day we start at 10 o'clock and then we go through the process of Think who wants in reality to be part of the change, who wants to be a member of the council. What the difference with this council is, is that we don't choose by nationality, we choose by language. As we explained nowadays, if you're American, you could be American in Australia, could be American in Japan or wherever, or the second generation American, or second generation Chinese being in America or wherever in the world. So we choose members by the language that we get away with borders. Their borders don't exist because wherever you're Chinese, that's your home. And so we are all over the planet. Now we come to that point that you know, on this planet we are everywhere. So with the new structure, there are no borders. The borders have been the cause of the problem. When we have a borders, you have to defend it, need your armies. But this way, you have no borders, you don't need armies. And that's how the process of peace starts. So what, what languages are going to be the uh, languages you're looking for? English, um, uh, probably an obvious choice, but we what other? We will announce it. We announce it in the conference. 
come in every language, color or race you are, and then you'll find out. You never know even yourself till that point why you have come. Okay, okay. so really it's, it's going to depend on who shows up, what languages they speak, and you'll have delegates uh, Not really. various language groups? Not really. You will understand when you're there. It doesn't matter where you come from, what languages, you'll, you'll know when you're there. So it doesn't okay. mean that if all the English people turn up, it's going to be all members of the Council in English. It's set up in a way that um, uh, we work with a new spirit of peace. And uh, we have invited some of the world leaders. They will sit as a member of the council, as a member of the public, not as the world leaders. You can sit next to them or they'll be next to you without you knowing it. Uh, the, the whole structure is that we bring humanity to the level. When you're in, in space, you can't be the king and sitting somewhere. We can't carry ten kings on one spaceship or one craft. So, ranking does not count. Um, the, the beauty with the new technology, with the new understanding is that a lot of Americans, they think NASA is ahead of space. But in fact, at the moment, NASA trails very heavily on the back of the space technology. In, in a way that we do not use fuel. We are teaching people gradually to the point that they can produce their own crafts. We don't need huge aircraft hangars and all the facilities which goes with the new, with a present spaceship or aircraft industry. We have understood how the structures are created in the universe and we have produced health systems, medical systems, agriculture systems, which today was the Agriculture Teaching and the Cash Foundation website worldwide. We had people from all over the world showing their technology, what they do, how they grow agriculture without fertilizers and everything else. And so we have developed a total new space technology which are dependent on, on the planet. If you go on the Cash Foundation website, you can see more of it. So, we, we changed the course in a very heavy way and uh, we have chosen the City of the Bears to be the center for the new spaceship program. And we have chosen the City of the Bears to be the City of Peace and we have chosen the way the place where the new council will take a seat. The beauty with this conference is that you can attend it for 500 euro, which is less than 600 dollars or so, for three days in most beautiful hotels in the world, sharing a room with another person. And uh, in so many ways, you can't even pay for one night in the hotel at this level. It's a five stars, the most beautiful hotels in, in, on this planet, more or less, as it's been said. So we are, we've been given the opportunity to be here, that um, we start changing the course. Excellent. Very good. Well, why don't, while we're on the topic here, you just mentioned some of the, the technologies. Why don't you give an update and an overview of uh, the progress you've made in, in the, various, uh, uh, the various categories of technology that you just mentioned? How are things coming with the, uh, the free energy device? Well, let's start with that. Uh, there is no free energy. We have discovered a new way to use the energy of the nucleus or the plasma of the nucleus. So we added a new fuel which others are looking for in a very simple way that you can produce in your kitchen and see the use of it. Where now we're using this property for the health, which is what we call it, you can put it in a pen type things, we call it pen pen. This product today on the 19th of, because we are now in the 19th in Europe, um, 19th of February has been licensed to be released as a medical equipment with a certification, health certification from European community. And then it's the same with the pads. Now we brought into uh, Italy. All these goods are manufactured in Italy where you can put around your body for any kind of pain and whatever. We have launched the first freestanding and the kind of things that start changing cancers. And we're going to the clinical trial in Philippines. We're given a what you call it, accommodation in the university research center to test the first system for cancer with the university monitoring the position. And um, on the back of everything else, a lot of different people using the system themselves, building it themselves, and sending their testimonial around the world with different websites, how they see, how they changed. And we had one of the testimonials even today, now teaching in the last section in the 
what we call the knowledge seekers teaching on the website. In a very short time, in the next few weeks, we will see the acceptance of the technology and medical worldwide, the way it shows its results in a matter of days. And uh, we make a push towards World Health Authority to accept the technology as a full new technology by the people who submit their testimonial. We're getting all the testimonials and we're submitting it to World Health, Health Authorities and every government health authority. Then it's the same with our agriculture, where whatever Monsanto has done more or less genetically controlling it, we are unraveling all the work of Monsanto. They won't like it, but in using the water from the materials which you produce in the kitchen, if you go on the website, we call it the GANS and nanomaterials, you actually undo all the work of the control of the genes on or genetically controlled uh, seeds by literally putting your seed in the liquid of your gas for about 10 to 20 minutes and you grow a new type of seed which is free of any genetic modification and now we've seen the report yesterday from different part of the world people are developing it and then on the other hand what you want to call free energy is not a free energy is a plasma energy we have now brought thousands of these into the market and different countries have started production of it. We're doing it in Italy. Germany is coming online. Japan is coming online soon. And Chinese already start producing. So we see a mass production of this around the world in millions. Where presently, by just plugging into your household plug in the house, you reduce your power around 30, 33%. Now we're developing it to about 60% saving. And very soon, hopefully, we are testing for a generator that you use the system as a power generator in the house. And some people have already achieved zero power, which means you have used as much energy as you like with uh, zero payment. It's not you stealing money from your government, but you use the energy of the plasma in the system. And it's a plasma energy, it's not a free energy. It's a, I'm a nuclear physicist, so I've developed a energy production on the base of the nucleus not uh, the plasma of the atom or what you call particles of a nucleus from the big proton, electron or a neutron. And this technology is very new and uh, people are making it actually. The housewives and the children are becoming the most, um, what you call it, activists in uh, plasma technology to do these things in the kitchen. And uh, we see it all over the world. Uh, we're getting to the point that we're coming to wireless electricity. And well, that, that, really that, that's, that's been your vision all along, is to get uh, get this so that uh, every housewife, every common man out there can, can implement this and uh, free himself. That's what they are doing. They are making the pens themselves at home. You go to our website, you can buy a pen, which even you can feed yourself with it if it's put the right way. We taught it today for less than 45 euro. Most of this money goes for the development and looking after the technology and development technology and the others who can't afford it and helping the others. And the same with the pen pass, the new space technology is being tested. We will show what is to you a dream of the spacecraft in reality because now it's taking shape. In the units in the States which are showing the parameters of the field of the spaceship and their units in Canada. We are aware of a couple of people now have achieved a spaceship. They do not want to be disclosed. And it's getting tested very rapidly. Well, let, let's talk some more about that. Uh, what, what are they seeing? What, what are the results? What can you share? Um, what we have seen, we shared a couple of times, a couple of the tests on the internet, or we have recorded it while we've been present. Uh, one of them is the man who, when you create, when you create these fields, you see all sorts of effects, which is the interaction of the field of the system with the body of the man. Uh, we've seen people with uh, eye problems as they report themselves that the eyes has been fixed after a long time because you're in the atmosphere of it. You don't need to eat because the, the environment feeds you. And then we see the fields. We notice the fields outside in the outside of the building that is getting tested. So uh, slowly you feel when you come into it because you feel you pass the border. But these things are made 
by individuals, it's not precise, so you always have what are called leakage of the fields. But we're coming across into the point that slowly a few people will build and we see a full transparent or the solid structure of the craft. You got to realize we work with the science of the creation and as I was in my teachings I always explain, your body is a mirage, it's not a solid thing. The, the three layers of your skin gives the image of the solidity of your body. It's the same with your intestine, it's the same with every other organ in your body. So we have learned, we understood the work of the universe, so we don't need to have huge aircraft hangars and building things. With a few small reactors, size of more or less, coming to the size of a can of Coca-Cola, you can create the structure of what you call UFO, feel it, be part of it, and feel its existence, control it the way you control your skin, the temperature of your body, and uh, we start seeing the shape of the craft because we decide how it looks, the way we structure it, and then um, most of the time we we had what we call a, star, a starship formation, three base, one top, and gives you the figure of what you call a spaceship. So we're getting to produce a system as I was teaching you this morning. If we give you a structure from aluminium or the latest metals, when you go into space and you come to an environment that the plasma, the strength of the field, is the strength of the aluminium or the material you carry, you suddenly have no crack because it gets dissolved inside it. This way, with this new technology, the way it's used in the space by what are called the passengers of the universe, as you come to different strength, different strength of plasma keeps the structure to be. This is very advanced to a lot of people, it's been a fairy tale. But now we report people who go actually feel going inside it, they feel the barriers, they feel the and entering an environment, feel the environment. We have people who see themselves inside it because the strength covers themselves seeing what's outside. So we, if we, as we've been talking about this for a long time, part of this technology is used by Iran to capture the American drone years ago, which when I developed it, now uh, even NASA is working on this technology because they took the blueprint and everything else from the Keshe Foundation and scientists at NASA are heavily at it. But the last key, I'm building a beautiful Rolls Royce, but I don't give the key of the flight. And maybe one or two scientists in the world will break the code, but I don't think so. If they would, they would have done by now. There's a lot of rumors, NASA and other governments have the, what we call the UFO and the space structure. They can dream about it, but they haven't got it yet, because we know if they do, we see them flying and none is flying. We can detect it and we don't see any. No, we see a lot, but none from the Earth. So NASA still can fiddle with it. Or the Russian space, as you see. When we teach it, it will be shown around the world. We have done the blueprint of the energy unit. We run a whole week teaching it. We run a blueprint that you can download and make the medical pen and medical units. Today we did the medical blueprint for agriculture. And in a very near future, we'll show you what we call the blueprint of the aircraft. And maybe it will be done by 21st, 22nd, that you can see the first time the spaceship in Dubai. Excellent. That's good news. So, we will release the what we call blueprint of the spaceship. And those are who are in Dubai will see a lot of things and understand. So, we set up new new lifestyle. And we are getting to the point that we will enforce the peace because it's very easy to do it. So, come to Dubai and be part of the change. And you never know, you might sit on the Council of the World Council to make the change. One of the first things we are pushing, especially in this conference, is change of the course in a way of what we will do, what we see as a piece, and how we use the new technology to create a lot of jobs and a lot of peace. You've been a lot of instrumental without you knowing it, as I explained. Uh, with you some times ago in respect to how you can influence peace without doing much and your program Mike has been instrumental I use you in one of your programs without you knowing much to convey a message 
and the message was picked up very quickly and we saw the results within regarding the Iranian peace talks. So well, that, that, that's, that's, what that, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for is is to to advance peace and, and stop this war nonsense. And it doesn't matter how we uh, accomplish the goal as long as the goal gets accomplished. Yeah, but if you remember in one of our talks and uh, in a couple of talks I gave to the American stations uh, a few months ago, when we saw a lot of resistance to the Senate, to the Iranian peace talks. And I said um, that I deliberately went for it in my talks that you let me know if one senator in Senate can push that they would do not accept the Iranian peace talks because it creates 5 to 20 million jobs in the United States. Show me one senator who's going to oppose new jobs in this time of recession. Yep, I was in that conversation. And then if you go back a few days later, the head of the opposition to Iranian peace talks resigned from the Senate's committee, and the whole thing collapsed. I remember that succinctly, uh, talking yeah, about, so, uh, about the jobs that would be here. And the other thing is, you, you look at uh, something that we've been talking about a long time, is that with the Iranian peace talks, once the deal is done, watch the price of gasoline fall to $1.49 a gallon. It's $1.63 a gallon here where, where I'm at in the USA now. So we're not very far from where uh, I, we, I predicted uh, the price of gasoline would, would go. But uh, it, it's all good news for the American people. Yes, but the other good news is now, with this technology, if the Americans stand up and understand we have a huge support in the state, and soon, hopefully, we start manufacturing these units in Pennsylvania and other places in Los Angeles area, then you'll see the benefit of that you don't even need to pay that well, for $125 per gallon or whatever you pay. We can reduce it, still use a little bit of fuel, but we can reduce it to... If you're using, let's say, 100 gallons a month, uh, down to about 20, maybe 10 gallons a month. We see now the units, what we call the car units, being used, energy reduction. Now in Poland, they start using it on trucks, where the energy of the plasma subsidizes the energy of the fuel, and uh, you save yourself a lot of money, not only at home, but in the car. But the beauty of it is, um, it creates a huge amount of number of jobs. And a lot of governments are into it. We we are becoming very multinational, international. Well, well Mr. We, Cash, we're, we're getting short on time. Why don't you give out the, the, the dates and the location of this conference again, because I want to uh, see if we can get as many people there as possible. The date is 21st, 22nd of uh, April this year, in two months' time exactly, more or less. The venue is Palm Atlantis Hotel in Dubai. You have to go to the Cash Foundation website to make your booking for the hotel. The booking is connected to the hotel. And we have a partner airline, what they call it, uh, um, people who can help you to buy very cheap tickets to attend it. Come here. Okay, can, learn can we, can we get go. this on, on, on the Cash Foundation website? Could you give out yes, the website on for us? Cash, Foundation. Dot org. Uh, we are well known for our work in there. And then I have a news for you Americans and the other listeners that this technology will help a lot of American veterans who suffer with a lot of pain and suffering from the war. And we had one of them and a lot of them using them, seeing the change. So join in, maybe you can help a lot of veterans because you are connected to veteran groups. Yes, I am. Yes, I am very connected to them, in fact. So yes. um, anyway, th- this is fascinating to have you on again. I'm glad that there's, there's progress and we, we should be seeing uh, very shortly the uh, the schematics, the diagrams, how to build uh, the, the spaceship themselves, correct? Turn, yes, but turn up, you never know. You could be in it. <laughs> we don't I say much. You. you know, I was given news. I give a hint. But I leave it because if we do, people turn up expecting. But we're telling we don't. We in due course, we've delivered everything. Now we delivered the last piece. Well, Mr. Cash, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, appreciate you staying up so late. Uh, we're, we're out of time, and we'll have you back on again very soon. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank sir. you for. Thank you for the time. Bye-bye. Bye bye. We'll be right uh, back, folks. Right after this, we're going to have Dr. Richard Allen Miller on and uh, Mr. Nick Begich. So stick around. Be right back. Revolution Radio, freedomslips.com, where information never sleeps and freedom is one seed that needs to be planted. What are we doing live? Echoes of the 